Hello and welcome to Rin Reads. I'm still doing this. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> here we have another Sweet Valley today. Um, this is a Bantam Skyler book and it was published. Let me see. Sorry, I should know this already. Um, 87. So 1987, Bantam Skyler book. Um, yeah, so three's a crowd. This one is an interesting book. Um, Mary, who is a foster child, is friends with Jessica and Elizabeth. She ends up going over to their house. Jessica notices that she spends a lot of time with Mrs. Wakefield and doesn't like it. And then she tells Elizabeth about this, and Elizabeth starts to notice that whenever she's there, she spends a lot of time with their mom. So they start getting really weirded out by this, and, um... Yeah, like, stop kind of inviting her over and stuff. Um, it's kind of a weird jealousy thing. Um, yes, she does have a foster family and a really nice foster family. But at the same time, I feel like as a foster child, they should be, a, well, okay, they're in grade six. But <laughs> um I think that maybe they should be a little more understanding that she wants these like meaningful interactions with um, an adult in their life. Um, she has formed this relationship with Mrs. Wakefield and um, I just find it interesting that Jessica and Elizabeth aren't a little more understanding about that. But I mean, Jessica is Jessica and she is kind of that jealous personality. So I'm not totally shocked that she acts that way. Um, anyways, you end up finding out that Mary was abducted as a child, which is kind of a huge plot line if you think, like, she's kidnapped. And I thought it was really weird that the kidnapping was really understated. Like, that's a really big deal. And they just kind of were like, and she was kidnapped. Moving on. Um, it... I know that they're short books. I know that they're teen books, but it just felt like that aspect of Mary's storyline was really breezed over. Um, Mary always thought that her, she would find her mother. And so that's kind of the part of the kidnapping that came out of it. It was like, I know my mom's still out there. I want my mom. I don't want this foster family. Amazingly enough, her mom tracks her down and her mom shows up, um, which is interesting because when they meet this lady who looks like Jessica and Elizabeth's mom, surprise, surprise, no wonder Mary was interested in her. Um, they're just very free and open with a lot of information. And it's like, you, you don't know this adult. You don't know anything about her. And like, I mean, Mary was kidnapped. How do you know that this is actually her mother and not her kidnapper? You know, like there's, there's lots of these different things that you're just like, ah, oh, stranger danger. But maybe, I guess, kids were more relaxed in the 80s. But I feel like, okay, most of my, like, childhood away from the home was in the early 90s. So maybe it was different by then. But I really don't think between 87 and 92 it would be that different. Like, stranger danger was a big thing. You don't get in other people's car. You don't give away your personal information. Like, this was drilled into us as latchkey kids. So I, I just find it odd that they were so trusting of this random stranger. But they were. So, I mean, it, it makes the plot come along really nicely and get all wrapped up neatly at the end. And I think that sometimes they just expect you to let go of reality. And to be fair, reading this as a teenager or even preteen was probably when I was really reading these. Um, I don't think that I would have thought as critically about those points of the storyline that I do now as an adult. Um, I mean, I don't really think that the storyline, I don't think it's a bad storyline. I don't know that it's a storyline that would really be relatable in today's world. Not to say that kids don't get kidnapped. I just think that in a more modern story, that plot line would have to be explored a little bit more than the way it was breezed over in this. Um, also, some of the details of what happened with how Mary was kidnapped 
um, I think could have been avoided in a more modern world. But then again, I don't really know that much about child abduction, so I can't really say. Um, but I mean, it was really nice that Mary was able to be um, reunited with her mom. And it was also nice, like you don't know what reading this book, but it's nice that Mary isn't just a throwaway character. She actually is a central character again in book, is it 12? No, sorry, book 13. So in book 13, Mary becomes another central character. So we'll be able to revisit what's going on with Mary in her life in a couple of books. So, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of what I think about for three is a crowd. Um, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye.